The Bernina 790 has a built-in blind applique stitch. Now, if you're wondering what that is, number one, I'm gonna show you which stitch to use and a quick little project that I did that I fell in love with. It was inspired by our Bernina Stitching Cosmos online course, and one of the lessons we talk about is how to make circles that are turned perfectly every single time using the Bernina Circular Sewing Attachment. So it comes in a small box. It's got a very sharp spike on it. You put a p two squares of fabric, a fabric square and an interfacing square. That's what's here on the back, already turned. You put it on that spike. This is attached to the bed of the machine. And as you sew a straight stitch, it creates the perfect circle. You take it off, you turn it right side out, trim it with pinking shears, and now you have a circle that has a perfectly turned under edge in the amount of seconds, not, well, it's easy. I actually enjoy doing these. But now it's how to put it on to the project. So this is a quilt that we have done, and we added all these fun circles after the quilt was quilted. So you'll see kind of the grid quilting that we have through all the blocks and decorative stitches, but the circles do not have the quilting over the top of them. So yes, quilted and all secured. So then these are placed where we want them. Um, you can, if this is uh, iron-on interfacing that you used as that second layer, you can then touch that to the quilt, iron it in place and will stick. So then if you put an open toe foot on, foot number 20, and you pick a blind applique stitch, and we're gonna stitch with clear thread. That's why you don't see any of the stitches on here. I'll get you a close up in just a second, but let's take a look at what we see on screen. On most machines, you're gonna pick a blind hem stitch, and that is gonna be wide, and you gotta make it narrower and shorter, and you want a little tiny bite, so you're trying to manipulate that all to where you want it to be. On the Bernina 790, hop over to your quilting menu, select stitching 1331, and it's all set up for you. Now, if you've been watching some of our applique videos, we do talk about how you can move the needle position to say the far right and use the inside of your open toe foot as a guide. And that's exactly what I did when I was going around all these circles. I just put the foot here, I'll even show you. I just put the foot right up to the edge and with clear thread, I'm just looking to bite just a little bit into the edge all the way around. Well, this is why they call it a blind applique stitch because it's so hard to see. So a little trick, use a smaller needle. My favorite is like a Microtech size 70 needle. You can actually do 60. Uh, size 60 needle with the clear thread if you can actually see to thread that needle. But with that clear thread, it just goes around, takes a little tiny bite. I do want to show you what it looks like on the back of this quilt. So on the back, I, I don't usually put clear thread in my bobbin. You can if you want. Uh, here we just did an Arafil thread, so very thin thread, uh, 50 weight, and then it just stitched right, al you can see where it stitched on the back. So on the back of this, after and through all the quilted part of the quilt, you can see all these circles on the back as well. But I love the way that they just kind of pop out off the fabric and they kind of look like they are floating on top of this quilt, which they are because they're not quilted down. So I hope you'll check out our Bernina Stitching Cosmos online course. We do get into how to make these circles in complete detail with the circular sewing attachment, as well as many other feet. Uh, we do 25 different sewing techniques and 18 different presser feet and learning more ways that you can use your Bernina 790 in a whole new way.